Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the distinct pleasure of being here with Jay. Oh, sorry. Chasing the apex. What's up, bro? It's so freaking great to be here. I'm stoked, man. When he arrived last night, I was Aww. like, this fucking dude, right? I, I don't know whether or not to keep him up getting on, getting drunk all night and we're just going to talk or are we actually going to go do this rally thing? So, yeah, that's why we're here. We're, we're going to do a rally. Absolutely. We're going to do the Janelle the Gene Auto Works charity rally. That is freaking cool. And this is the car we're taking today. Jay's awesome Porsche GT4 to 2015 and what can you tell me more about the car jay it's a 981 flat six um and uh she's a pleasure to drive so i'm not a specs kind of guy and um there's a lot of dudes here that tell you all about this car that i don't know nothing about it but i'll tell you she'll run that's awesome man so what have you enjoyed the most about the car that's really my question she's a proper manual transmission she feels raw she feels pure she almost feels older she feels like she's two decades older with the power and speed right of something modern i mean i i just love it man i just i love the engagement i love the interaction i love being mid corner and i love that it's mid-engine i can throw it around anywhere and um for some twisty bit of roads it's a weapon speaking of twisty bit of roads why are we here today well, we're gonna do a rally and we're gonna i think we're gonna drive through like mirror woods and we're over by the golden gate right now i don't know if he's got shots of it so that's what we're kind of doing and that's sam's cayman and so yeah, we're just gonna hang out with some good dudes. I know Bill Easton's gonna be here. The guys from oh, Vault yeah. and Ingo are over there. Right, right uh, they're setting up. We're here hella early, and uh, yeah, that's our. That's what we're doing, man. Let, awesome. You should go get in Ingo's face right now while he's doing something. Is this my the flag, setup? My flag. Oh. I need a flag, man. So, so marketing. What, what kind of flag you got there? This is my Ganau Auto Works flag. So we let everybody know uh, where we're going. So. These are the guys. This is the reason we're here today. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I don't know who invited you. I'm going to get you getting me on camera, by the way. <laughs> That's so awesome. How are you? Nice to see you in person. It's good to see you in person. It's a pleasure, man. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this out. Oh. Phil, can you give me a, a real quick rundown of what we got here in front of us? Oh, uh, well, this my is viewers. a 88 uh, slant nose 930 turbo Targa. Um, it's fairly rare. They think they only made about 41 of them. And um, this one's been modified a little bit. It, it goes pretty good. Um, it's got a bigger turbo, a bigger intercooler. Uh, it's also, also got a five-speed. We put a five-speed in it. So what's your favorite thing about this particular car? Um, the way the turbo hits, the boost, when it, when it comes on it, it goes really good. And what's the most dangerous thing about that, besides this man creeping up behind <laughs> you? Uh, having that happen in the turn and hitting your brakes. Don't, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> That's right. a bad decision. So what's the worst thing that can happen in that case? Uh, the front locks up and the ass comes around. Ah, is that why this car has the, the name? The Widowmaker, yeah. The Widowmaker, exactly, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, what a sweet ride though. It's just gonna, nice. it's, it's a definitely a driver's car and something you've got to manage, right? Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this isn't one you just go to put on autopilot and go. You, Absolutely. you gotta manage this one. Gotta drive this car. Well, I'm glad I didn't bring my 993 Turbo. It'd be, I wouldn't be the only one. Oh, uh, that's There's right. one right behind you. What would you rather drive, this or, the, or that? Depends. Yeah. You know, they're different animals. The yeah. 993 Turbo is all-wheel drive, and uh, it goes faster, and it handles the turns better. Um, this, is, this one's more visceral. Yes. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to not only seeing this thing, but hearing it on the road today. <laughs> doesn't make a lot of noise. The turbo quiet keeps it pretty quiet. That I understand. But it's definitely something I haven't heard before. Not in my neck of the woods. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. You bet. So what makes this your favorite car ever, Jay? Uh, because it'll kill you, and it tests every bit of the skill you have as a driver. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Come off that turbo mid-corner, you're going to find yourself into the side of the wall or off the side of a cliff in a proper canyon. Mm. And so, yeah, I like the fact, I like that elegant dance with death. I like that you have to be a real driver to drive it. And uh, yeah, I, I like that you can't be a poser in it. That's awesome, man.
I'm really looking forward to this. It should be a nice mellow ride. We got some really cool cars here. Of course, you know, as YouTubers, we have camera, camera, phone. Don't forget his camera. Camera, camera in there. Oh yeah. is I like watching all the people look at, look at the cars because really for some people, you know, a, a guy like me that grew up, you know, in a rather quite, you know, a lower class area, I would never get to see this in real life. And so I'm just imagining when these kids are smiling at us, how they must feel, man. I Absolutely, mean, bringing the gift of yeah, man. awesome cars to the community. Uh, I want to quote our friend Il Fury on that one, right? If you can make one dude smile as a creator, you did your freaking job, man. And my goal is one million smiles. And if I can do that one million times, bro, what else is there? I mean, you're getting to share with other people an experience. Oh, <laughs> oh we haven't even we haven't even begun to play. <laughs> This is awesome already. Just enjoying this ride here, you know, with with a you're a pro driver, aren't you? No, former moto racer. Former moto racer. So but I have a lot of track time in a car. You know, it's great to be a passenger in a car that was designed for the track by somebody who's actually driven on a track. Yeah, I've got a lot of track time. Um but that's pretty big, right? I mean, for us, we grow up with roads like these. Um, and so your objective is because the track time wasn't always affordable. So what would happen is, is you'd head out to the canyon and you'd go play, but you have learned to play in a safe fashion and you learned to play in a way that everybody could play. So there's something called the pace um, that motorcyclists use in group rides. And they, they're kind of doing that here. And that's fast in the, fast in the corners, slow in the straights because you're letting, allowing everybody to regroup. What you don't want some, is somebody to get in over their head and like die. So when he says pro driver, I just, I'm a dude with a lot of track time. Um, so when I'm judging cars, I'm judging it based on those driving dynamics, not those specs. And I think on a bike that's proven because I've been passed by a dude in 400 year old leathers that are falling apart, you know, and on a 250 that's clapped out and the fairings are falling off or zip tied together. But that dude's passed me knee down on the track on a more modern bike and that's skill. It's not horsepower. That's awesome. I appreciate that perspective. And I see now that you're, you know, you are a fan of the manuals. I am. Yeah, I am. I am a fan of the manuals because the reality is, is here, I can enjoy that, right? And so this play, you know, here in the Bay Area, European roads, that tactile feel creates um, a direct engagement with the driver. That doesn't mean I don't like uh, DCT or PDK or any of the automatic series. It just means that um, overall it allows me to practice my skill set. So, and I like that, you know, I, I like that it's me giving feedback. And if I screw up, it's me. You know, it's not the car, you know, it's not the road, it's not the dude in front of me. I went into that turn too hot. I made that mistake and I like that accountability in that. And that's, and part of that's driving a manual. You know what I mean? Driver in the silver 911 is slow. Hmm. Let's find out how slow he really is.
getting a chance to take these amazing roads. We're chasing the apex. Literally chasing the apex. Were you chasing the apex? Yeah, I was chasing Bill chasing the apex. to hear this from you know from me sitting here in the passenger seat I get to experience this today I get to experience what it's like for you to demonstrate your skill not on a racetrack but in an environment where you can actually use what you've learned on the track well it translates well because everything's slower on the street and you don't have the desire to push it on the street like you would on a track because you already know it's not the track and you're not the fastest guy out there you know and that's the reality is if you think you're fast, you're going to end up dead. And, you know, I, I don't want to do that. And I don't, I, I don't wish that on anybody. As a matter of fact, I, I caution, you know, if you think you're fast in a straight line and you think that's what makes you a good driver, I would caution that, you know, your ego might need uh, uh, another look at it because the reality is overall, there's always somebody faster, so you may as well just go out and have a good time. Be you. Bill is an excellent driver. He's an excellent example of a driver. The, I think the thing that gets me the most is, you know, the variety of cars and how generally they are trying to keep the pace here. And I think that's a lot of why Europeans value driving differently than we do here in the United States, and we want big horsepower cars. You know, it's because that's how we use them in the straights. Versus here in California, we've got all kinds of twisty bit of road to go play on. And so I think that's where we are. And here we have Bill right in front of us. He Bill's like, hey man, you guys are in my way, so I'm gonna go around you. But he didn't like cross into the other lane and go around him. He just said, yeah, I'm gonna go around you here. And so and I, though there should be no ego involved in that, right? Yeah, there's a lot of respect. Yeah. There's a lot of respect, especially for uh, the types of cars that are on this rally today. Yeah. There's, there's uh, a lot of history there's a lot of rarity and you yeah, don't absolutely. want to lose these cars no I'm not playing stupid on a rally no well, I don't want to be stupid anywhere I mean yeah. we're gonna go out tomorrow and we're gonna you know you're gonna get you know that's my goal is tomorrow morning before we go review our next car is you're gonna get all the seat time you could ever wish for on some of the best roads in California and I would offer some of the best roads in the world and they're right in my backyard and I think that you know it's something you'll know, you'll know right away, hey man, whoa, that's too fast for me. And if it feels too fast and you feel like it's too fast, it's too fucking fast. If it feels like it's too slow, you're going the right speed. Yep, yep. Thank you, brother. I'm looking forward to what we're gonna see up the road. Me too, man. I'm excited, I'm excited to be here. Um, I'm excited to be with my friends and I'm excited to have a mellow day. I'm excited they invited us. I, you know, I feel really privileged, yeah. you know, and I think that's, I mean, I think that's amazing. Because, I mean, really, when do you ever get to do this? You know, especially as a YouTuber, as a vlogger, I spend all my time reviewing cars. Rarely do I actually get to go out and drive my own. Well, 
It's an honor to be here, brother. No, it's an honor for you to be here with me. I'm like, when he showed up yesterday, I was like, holy shit, you know, it's like Hollywood lights for me because I've been watching this dude for a year. And here he is and he's showing up at my house like, oh my God. You know? I'm gushing like a high school kid. And I'm, I'm equally feeling the same thing. You know, it's not often that when, when we collab online, it's yeah. one thing, but when you actually get to be in the presence of, of somebody that you respect and you honor. Oh yeah, hit, same. Get you right here, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. Jay, that was freaking awesome, man. Thanks for joining us, bro. Hey, you know you're a great driver too. Oh, he's lying to you. He's, no, no. He's we, driving back, by the way. Let's see what he does with the GT4. <laughs> we won't break it, but we really enjoyed this. Hey, we really had a great time in the Janelle Rally drive towards a cure. This was a great opportunity for us to really enjoy all these other amazing cars. And I gotta say. Having an experience here on the Twisty Rose in California is something I really enjoyed. So big thanks to Jay, big thanks to everybody that supported and ran this rally. I was really enjoying it today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I like posting cool car content. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching and happy motoring.